what is up guys welcome back to leslie jones tarot this reading here is for my virgo zodiac sign i'm just going to dive in with the uh, spell casting deck see what your energy is and then yeah we'll just go from there okay this is a general reading so this may not resonate with you if it does everything may not be for you in this reading could be messages for someone else and energies are fluid and interchangeable so they can cross if you need to please flip them let's pull your overall energy here find out what's going on love relationships you know things like that let's see overall energy of virgo please let's see overall energy of virgo what's the overall energy of virgo Clarify the overall energy of Virgo. Clarify the overall energy of Virgo, please. Clarify the overall energy of Virgo. Ooh. Manifestation is your overall energy. And then on the bottom is love. Holy smokes. Alright. Okay. We can do this. Manifestation. Look at there. That's your overall energy. So you could be manifesting something that has to do with love. Could be relationships. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. Um. So let's do the hmm, yeah. Let's do the gilded tarot deck. See what's going on here. All right. Clarify the energy of Virgo with this manifestation card. Thank you. Got the star. Clarify the energy of Virgo here. Got the Eight of Cups. Clarify the energy. Ooh. Page of Wands and the Chariot. Awesome. Bottom of the deck is the Fool. First card, we have the Star card. So you're going after your dreams. You're going after um, your dream come true type of energy. Optimistic positivity. All right. Wishing up upon a star. You know what I'm saying? Eight of Cups. You could be walking away from some type of connection, some type of job, a uh, person, okay, situation. Page of Wands, good news coming in, a message of something financial, something with a lot of passion, a lot of fire behind it. And then we have the Chariot, okay? Overcoming triumph over hard times, frustration, things like that. Bottom of the deck is the Fool. So definitely taking a leap of faith here. Clarify the Star card, please. Mm. The Star is clarified with Temperance and the Four of Cups. So this tells me that you're not just settling for anything, right? You're being patient. You're allowing things to come to you in divine timing. You're allowing things to happen for you when they are meant to, okay? But you're not just sitting around accepting whatever comes your way here, right? You're not just saying, oh, yeah, okay, I'll take that. If it's a job, you're being patient. You're waiting on the job that you've been wanting. If it's a person, you're being patient. You're going through your healing. You're focusing on yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're focused on your inner peace, your inner thoughts. And you're really just allowing divine timing to, to do the work, right? But you're not just out here accepting just any old relationship or any old person that's coming in your life here. So let's see what this Eight of Cups is for. Clarify the Eight of Cups, please. For Virgo. It's clarified with the Ace of Cups. Oh, wow. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Let's do one more. So you could be walking away from a relationship, okay? Could be walking away from a relationship, maybe walking into a new one. Or you could be walking away from a uh, a relationship that you felt like you were stuck in the head and stuck in your head about not sure of what they wanted if they wanted something stable or they wanted something committed wise you know what i'm saying you're saying i don't have time for games i don't have time to sit around and just wait on you to decide if you want to be with me or not you know hey it is what it is if you're unsure about it that's cool let me keep it trucking let me keep it moving right you're you're defending yourself you're standing up for yourself okay because seven of wands represents defense represents standing your ground so this year i'm getting the energy of hey if you want me you want me if you're unsure keep it moving until you figure out what you want don't come near me that's the energy i'm getting so let's clarify the page of wands here Ooh, that's too many that's that's too many i can't take that many clarify the page of wands that's a lot of them <laughs> all right so we have the judgment all right something coming in for you some type of karma being in play could be good karma something that you've been um, committed to you could have been putting in work towards something okay you could have been um really focused on something something about to pay off that you've been very committed to you've been dedicated to here all right we have two of cups on the bottom so now this could represent a love right this could be 
um, you getting married, okay, to your twin flame or to your person. But this can also be you going after something that you've been working hard for, okay, that you're that you have a lot of love for as well, because it doesn't necessarily have to be love or like a lover coming in. So let's clarify the chariot here for Virgo. Nine of Wands, clarify the chariot for Virgo here. Clarify the chariot. Can I have one more? Clarify the chariot for Virgo. Ooh, dang, that's a lot of them. They, they keep wanting to spit out all these cards. Okay, okay, okay. Let's <laughs> take it. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands. This is the Wounded Warrior energy where you're really putting in a lot of energy. You're when you get knocked down, you get you get back up, right? You get back in the fight. You, you don't care how many scratches, bruises you have. You're back up and you're ready to put put in the work again, okay? We also have the Five of Cups. So there is some type of looking back on things. It could be one of those situations like, man, I, mean, I did have to go through a lot to get where I am, but it is what it is. I put that work in. And look at this beautiful energy that's coming forward. Nine of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Knight of Wands. So this tells me... Your happiness, you're feeling fulfilled, right? That's all about to come in for you here with this chariot. Could be a new beginning here with a person or a new beginning with the situation financially. Okay, this represents a new beginning of something that's going to be stable. That's going to be um, worth the wait, right? You know what I'm saying? And then we have the emperor and the knight of wands. So this is control. This is, um, this could be ego as well, but it's, I don't feel like it's a negative ego thing. It's like a, Yes, I put in that work. Now I can now I can be this boss type of energy, right? Because that's what it is. And the Knight of Wands can represent movement. This can also represent going after something you have a lot of passion for, a lot of drive for, you know, um, really going after it and not looking back, okay? Being very confident in it as well. So let's pull. We have a tower moment. So there is a tower moment happening for you here. Let's see if we can pull... Um, love and relationships for you so i do see again you manifesting something whether it's love whether it's um finances or something like that it's all turning in the right way for you because this can also represent love okay with the page of wands and then this here it's like you're you're the energy i'm getting is i'm in control i'm choosing what i want and what i don't want in my life I'm not putting up with people that don't know if they, they want me around or not. You know, goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. Here, I'm not just here accepting whatever comes to me. You know what I'm saying? I can I can manifest what I want. I know how powerful I am. And that's the energy that I'm getting. So let's see here. Clarify love or relationship energy for Virgo. Clarify. Thank you. One more. Clarify love or relationship energy for Virgo. Thank you. So we have the playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yeah, I feel like you're you're free. You're enjoying yourself. You're going to take your time. Again, divine timing is at work here. You're allowing things to happen naturally. You're just going to enjoy yourself. You're not going to try to control it. If it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I feel like that's what you're doing, especially with this card here with the Eight of Cups. You walking away from people that aren't sure if they want you in their life or not. You're saying, Psh, goodbye. Okay? <laughs> I'm not going to stand around and wait. And then we have the trust card. This situation is calling for you to have faith. I do feel like you're doing that. You're saying, hey, if it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. Right? It is what it is. And that energy that you have where you're not running after someone or where you're not begging someone to come into your life, it's making things shift in the right direction for you. Okay? You're allowing things to come in when they're meant to. Um, so let's see here. Yeah, let's pull you a couple of angel answers before I end this off here. This is a beautiful reading, Virgo. A very beautiful reading. Any last messages here for Virgo? Any last messages here for Virgo? Look at there. Opportunity is your first card that came out. Opportunity is your first card that came out. Things are about to open up for you. All kind of doors. We have doors as far as love. We have doors as far as finances, opportunities, jobs. Could even be with the Knight of Wands. Could be moving of some type of home. Okay. We have the no need to worry. You're not stressing about it. You're saying it is what it is. Whatever happens, happens. And when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Right? We also have the be assertive card. You're putting your foot down here saying, if you don't want to be in my life, get out. If you do, 
you show me that you want to be in it. Know that you want to be in it. If not, get the hell out. And we have improving health. Yeah, you're focusing on yourself. You could be focusing on your health, working out, getting your body in shape, eating healthier, things like that. Look at that, recovery. Yeah, your, your focus is yourself. You're manifesting all of this stuff for you and you only. This is you putting yourself first and not worrying about anybody else's feelings. And I love that energy, Virgo. Keep that up, guys. Keep that up. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button down below. Feel free to subscribe. I would definitely love to have you here. And guys, I thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.